Shortage of food and other essential services has hit camps of internally displaced persons in Mongo and Pangshin local government areas of Plateau State. Now, some of the IDPs were lamenting the scarcity of food in their camps, are calling on the government and other public spirited individuals to intervene in order to help them survive. Trust TV's Adu Musa completes the report. The IDPs, who are victims of the crisis that ravaged some communities in Mongo, said they lack food to feed themselves and their children. Trust TV gathered that. For the past one week, no food has been prepared for the IDPs at the camp, adding that some of them often leave the camp in the morning to seek manual work in order to buy food. Uh, in this camp is, we need food and security. That is the major problem of the people, food, because we know that there are a lot of helps that have been coming, but the food that have been coming is not uh, enough for the people. The sharing is not of number, maybe a family, you find that the gift of food is only a major for a family. Then it will take some weeks before another one come again. We come and stay here, we don't have food to eat. There are some people that they will come and help, but not enough that will satisfy us. We are managing our life. The clothes we will wear, we don't have. We don't have things that we lose them. If says that we start thinking of all those things, it's a pity. Matthias Ibrahim, one of the camp directors in Mangu, explained the situation at the pilot primary camp. What we are presently facing from all the IDPs, in all the IDPs places, is the challenge of food. So because all the people that are displaced from both the communities, they, their properties are burned down completely. They raise down their food, their clothing, whatever food, uh, what items they have are all destroyed. So what we need at the moment is the food. And this food that we need is part of the immediate thing that will resolve the crisis. Because if people are in hunger now, they'll be thinking about anything else. So if food are provided at the moment, because in the camp there's no food items in the camp. So people are living by the grace of God. Some of the IDPs who have been at the camp since last year, April, said they are willing to go back to their homes to continue farming activities if their security is guaranteed. Adomusa, Trust TV News, Joss.